2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV Highway, range test, 441 miles on a single charge. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. It even outpaced its projected combined EPA range rating while driving at 70 miles per hour. For many owners, how far an electric truck can drive on a single charge will determine whether it's an acceptable replacement for a conventionally fueled pickup truck. When engineering the first electric Silverado, Chevrolet set out to reduce the concern about driving range as much as possible and equipped the vehicle with a huge 200 plus kilowatt hour battery pack, the largest available on any EV today. I fully charged a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV RST first edition and headed out on the highway to drive a constant 70 miles per hour to see how far the vehicle would go before the huge battery was exhausted. Chevrolet got a lot of things right with the 2024 Silverado EV. The midgate feature is AA extremely tool, especially for contractors. With the midgate open, the Silverado EV has 10 feet 10 inches of cargo length without hanging over the end of the open tailgate. Even without the midgate open, the 5 feet 11 inches bed is half a foot longer than the bed in the Ford F-150 Lightning and the front trunk or frunk offers up to 10.7 cubic feet of secure cargo space. With the Silverado's power base feature, users can power a variety of items and use up to 10.2 kilowatts of available power from the Silverado's battery. And for those that purchase GM Energy's vehicle to home, V2H system, the truck can power their home or business during a power disruption for days at a time. Chevrolet expects the Silverado EV RST to have a combined EPA range rating of 440 miles, but the EPA hasn't certified the figure yet. In my numerous 70 miles per hour highway range tests over the years, I've found that most vehicles fall short of their combined EPA range rating when driven at 70 miles per hour. However, it's not that unusual for a vehicle to meet or even exceed that figure. The Porsche Taycan, for instance, always exceeds its EPA range figure by a wide margin whenever we do highway range tests. Tesla vehicles, on the other hand, usually fall about 10% short of their EPA combined range ratings. So after charging the Silverado EV up to 100% at an Electrify America DC fast charger, I headed out onto the New Jersey Turnpike to drive the same course that I use for all of my range tests to see how far the huge battery pack would propel the electric pickup truck. After over six hours of driving and using GM's hands-free Super Cruise for most of the day, I rolled back into the same Electrify America parking lot, where I charged up that morning and finished up driving 441.7 miles, slightly more than Chevrolet's quoted 440-mile combined range rating. Of course, if I was pulling a 10,000 pounds trailer, or if this range test was done in the dead of winter, the results would have been much different, and my day would have been much shorter. But now we have a best-case benchmark to start with. About our range tests, we want to make it clear our range tests aren't perfect. There are variables simply out of our control like wind, traffic, and weather. However, we do our best to control what we can. We always set the tires to the manufacturer's recommended pressure, cross-check the speedometer with a GPS for accuracy, and place the vehicle in the most efficient driving mode. In the case of the Silverado EV, that's the normal driving mode. We set the climate control to somewhere between 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and on the lowest fan setting, unless more heating or cooling is needed to maintain a comfortable cabin. We always charge the vehicle up to 100% right before starting the test, reset the trip meter, and enter the highway immediately or within a couple of miles. We then drive at a constant 70 miles per hour and in long loops, so we end up either where we started or as close as possible. Driving conditions, temperature, and topography will affect an EV's driving range, and our 70 miles per hour range tests serve only as a guideline of approximately what you should expect if you drive the same EV under similar conditions. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.